For half a century, Ian Brady's breathtaking lack of remorse has remained intact. And he's always stuck by his policy never to apologise to the families of the five victims he lured to their deaths. The only thing to have changed is his health. And now the man who is perhaps Britain's most reviled killer for what he did on Saddleworth Moor claims he's deteriorating quickly. After previous correspondence with Brady, I wrote to him at Ashworth Psychiatric Hospital in Merseyside to ask whether the 50th anniversary of some of his crimes had made him feel any guilt. In response, he sent Five News this 750-word letter. In it, he doesn't mention his victims, just himself. And despite being frail, he finds the energy to condemn those caring for him. Still bedridden and worsening. The cell block is described as a discharge ward. I've been sitting here 30 years, and there's no turnaround of inmates unless in a coffin, so it's more accurately a blocked sewer pipe. Brady was last seen in public in 2013 at a mental health tribunal, but he has been largely bedridden since then after breaking his hip and arm in a fall. Today I showed the new letter to Terry Kilbride, who has every reason to resent Brady. His 12-year-old brother John was snatched then murdered by him in November 1963. It's just, he's crafty. Very crafty how he works things and does things. I mean, this now, this letter, coming, coming through to you like it has done, about him not being so well, and he's, oh, I'm, I'm dying, I'm on my deathbed, and all this, you know. It's just another ploy, get people to think, oh, do we feel sorry for him? like hell they do. Later in the letter, Brady is in a more reflective mood and suggests he wished he had taken his own life years ago. Had I divined the future of spending half a century in prison and the final 15 years being force-fed by nasal tube in an unmonitored zoological cesspit of regression, I would have exited decades ago. This forensic psychologist, who's met Brady numerous times, says the killer may be feeling ignored by the public. Brady's a very egocentric person. He very likes being in, in the limelight. Um, I think probably at this point in time he's uh, a little bit frightened that people aren't remembering him and that people have maybe forgotten about him to, to a certain extent. After five decades, the question as to where he buried the body of 12-year-old Keith Bennett remains. If his poor health is now as bad as he suggests, will Brady go to his grave without revealing that last sad secret? Julian Drucker, 5 News.